Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, this September, the Biden administration paved the way for $6 billion in sanctioned funds to be accessed by the Iranian regime in exchange for the return of American hostages. Authorizing this transfer puts us in an incredibly dangerous position and will only encourage Iran and other state sponsors of terror to kidnap more hostages in the future. What we saw in the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan and what we are seeing once again is that President Biden has failed to manage our nation's foreign policy. This deal gives Iran access to more money to fund more terrorist activities, including support in regional proxies like Hamas and Hezbollah. We know that the Iranian regime is a highly skilled in sanctions and specifically in sanctioned invasions. And they will do everything that they can do to hide the true use of these funds. One thing is for certain, this money would not be used for humanitarian purposes as the Biden administration has claimed. It is time to pass the No Funds for Iranian Terrorism Act and freeze this money in Qatari banks where it is currently being held. We cannot allow the Iranian regime to enrich itself and continue to funnel money into the hands of known terrorists. Thank you. Madam Speaker, in the past week, the Tucson, Arizona sector of our southern border has encountered over 2,000 illegal immigrants each and every day. This crisis has pulled in Border Patrol resources, including highly trained BORTAC units, to confront the surge of illegal immigrants from across the Southwest. This has left dangerous gaps in our border security for cartels to exploit smuggling deadly drugs like cocaine, heroin, and fentanyl into the United States. Now, after repealing President Trump's Remain in Mexico policy, the Biden administration is attempting to use public lands and national parks to house illegal immigrants. This policy shift is a failure, and it is a failure that will continue to have immediate and negative consequences for so many American communities. Places like the Gateway National Recreational Area in New Jersey should not be used to house illegal immigrants who have been allowed by President Biden to remain in America for far too long. Our communities cannot afford to continue down this treacherous path. It is time for Congress to pass legislation that prevents our public lands from being used to support the crisis that President Biden has failed to address with our failed border security, with our failed ability to maintain the sovereignty of our country by making sure that all of our borders are secure. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield.